Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about how investing in crypto could skyrocket your passive dividend income. Let's get it. So what do I mean by skyrocketing your passive income? Well, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Cryptocurrency has the ability to massively compound your returns. We're talking a 5x, 10x, 20x, 50x, 100x. And in some absolutely insane cases, 500 to 1,000 extra money. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I myself have experienced one of these crypto bull runs. And I am not kidding you when I tell you that a 10 to 30x, even a 50x is absolutely possible. So the general idea here is that you basically would take your gains from crypto and put them into your dividend paying stocks to massively increase your passive income. Now, am I suggesting that you do that? No, um, I can't give you financial advice, can't tell you what to do with your money, but just understand that we are actually even making this content for you guys on our days off. So we are committed to um, educating y'all and sticking with the process and basically doing what we say we're going to do here. So. Let's get into it. Um, the first example that I have pulled up here is the LTCN chart. As you guys know, on this channel, we have gone over this chart before. Um, again, shout out to Ethan Galstad for, make, for um, making us aware of this content. We didn't know anything. Uh, we knew about the Grayscale Trust back in the previous bull run, but we didn't really give it too much thought. But now that we're in the bear market, it makes more sense to take a look at these. So as you guys can see from the all time high here, you're basically looking at somewhere between, let's say, roughly about four to five hundred dollars. Uh, if we just do some quick math on that, we'll say five hundred divided by five is a hundred x. Actually, the current price is four fifty five, so we'll do that. So you're basically taking a look at roughly about a hundred to one hundred and ten x. Um, let's get rid of that little annoying pop up there. So uh, 400 divided by 455, or we'll, we'll just keep it at five for simplicity's sake because it is kind of vacillating around in that area. You're talking about an ADX. Okay, so here's kind of how this is going to work. So basically, we'll just take a hypothetical number here. We'll say you put 1,000 bucks into LTCN and you get a 50X. Okay, we'll keep it real simple. It only goes to about 50% of the all-time highs. So you're raking in about 49K in profit. Um, we'll just do like a simple tax structure here. We'll say 20% taxes. So basically after taxes, you're going to have about, uh, 41,000 bucks. So we'll do 41,000 and then we're going to use, uh, since this is everybody's favorite Tesla, we're going to use Tesla as an example here for a high yielding income ETF. So 41,000 divided by 1346 times the current distribution rate which as of this month we'll be getting paid in a couple of days woo -hoo! right everybody can't wait to get paid so we'll just round it up say 58 cents and so you get 3,000 shares times 58 cents assuming the price was the same at that point in time which it probably won't be but we'll just using simple examples here you would have a thousand seven hundred and sixty six dollars a month of passive income like that right out of the gate okay now let's say instead you made an 80x on your money okay so we'll actually uh deduct that thousand bucks off of there and we'll do times a 20 percent tax bracket because of course you know taxes uncle sam got to get their cut so after taxes you're taking a look at maybe 64k divide that by the current share price 13.46 times 58 cents. And you would basically instantly have about $2,700 a month of passive income. So essentially what you'd be doing here is you'd be taking your money, putting it into massive growth plays. And then once those growth plays pan out, then you would ideally move your funds from your profit from the growth plays into the dividend income. And this, this could be any dividend paying stock. It could be SCHD. It could be the yield max ETFs. It could be, you could put it into Apple stock if you wanted to. 
you know, do some dividend growth stocks like you could do a realty income, PepsiCo, Procter and Gamble, um, or you could put it into more growth plays like Tesla, Amazon, Nvidia, you know, so on, or even swing trade. You can do what you want with it. But the idea here is to build a passive income. So we'll take a look at another example here of a uh, cryptocurrency that you could use. We'll take a look at Bitcoin. Um, I have not come out with the bull bull market top and bear market bottom indicators yet, but we will be getting into that here soon. There's still plenty of time before the next bull run to kind of show you guys how that works. Um, and again, no indicator is ever, ever going to be 100% guaranteed. It works until it's uh, until it doesn't work. It's basically effective until it's not. That's usually how indicators are. So, um, but Bitcoin's at 30k currently so we're basically just going to say that bitcoin's going to do about a 5x from the current price or pretty much about a 10x from the bottom so the bottom is in this green support zone here you can see about 15k so our top would be roughly about 150,000 why do i say the top would be 150,000 well because uh, the previous peak on bitcoin was at 20k and we topped out or the uh cycle before and we topped out on the previous peak at 70k so you're talking about three and a half x from peak to peak and then from the bottom at 3k to the peak uh 3000 to about 69,000 was about a 23x so if we have that you know um it'd basically be about a 2x from the pre previous peak at 70k so we'll just round it up say 150k or about a 10x from the bottom to the top which is about half of both of those metrics uh from a 15,000 to 150,000. So let's say you put 5,000 into Bitcoin. Okay. Bitcoin's uh, relatively safe compared to the altcoin market. That's how a lot of crypto investors see Bitcoin. It is the king crypto. It's considered to be the least volatile of all the cryptocurrencies, which, you know, Bitcoin still can go down 80% and go up hundreds of percent. So that should tell you just how volatile it is in comparison to traditional finance stocks so we'll say five thousand times you get a 5x on your money so 30 to 150k um so you made 20k we'll again say you pay 20 percent taxes just to be hypothetical so four thousand bucks so all in all you're going to walk away with about i'd say twenty two thousand We'll use a different example this time um, outside of Tesla. We will use, uh, as soon as I can find it. So we'll use Coney. So it's 1837 per share. So you get 1837 times, uh, whoops, times $1.20. Assuming that everything remained the same, you'd get about $1,400 a month in passive income right out of the gate. So that's basically just transferring from crypto growth to, you know, dividend passive income paying stocks. So we'll take a look at one more example here of uh, cryptocurrencies, one that I think is going to, I personally, again, this is not financial advice. I can't guarantee it's going to go up, but I personally think that this has a lot of massive upside potential. And that is Decentraland. Why do I say that? Because this is one of the altcoins that outperformed its previous peak in the previous cycle, as you can see here in the 2000. Um, well, I actually really got to scroll back here to be able to see this. So as you guys can see, this it, it doesn't look like a peak, but this is basically the peak of two cycles ago in Bitcoin was uh, pretty much December of 2017. So you can see the mana basically went up from like two tenths of a penny to about 30 cents. So that's, I believe that's roughly about 120 X. Let me actually do the numbers real quick here and make sure that is correct. Oh, my bad. Okay. So it went up about 150 X. So that's still impressive. But as you guys can see here from that peak, it actually outperformed the peak in the first peak that Bitcoin had. And then it went even higher on Bitcoin's second peak. The reason why it went higher here in this area, this peak right here, is because the metaverse was being talked about. And metaverse is a big deal. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but basically it's where 
everybody's kind of sucked into the digital world with, you know, they're living through their headsets or whatever. And you can go into these digital worlds and use like avatars and stuff like that. It's, it's, you can buy digital property, digital land, um, kind of similar to physical land on the earth, but it's digital. It's physically not real, but people can pay real money for it and stuff like that. So um, that's kind of what this peak is about. And then Facebook came out and said that they were going to go big on metaverse. They changed their name to meta, which is why their name is meta now. Cause it's based on the metaverse. So this was kind of a big deal. And this was when the peak took place in crypto and Bitcoin. So, uh, from the low here on Decentraland, I can tell you guys right now it was the absolute low was, I think, I believe roughly about like I want to say like a penny or so, maybe three cents. We'll just call it three cents. We'll be trying to keep it simple here. So three cents and the peak was all the way up at six bucks. So we'll do six dollars divided by three cents. So you're taking a look at a 200 X. So Decentraland actually did more X's in the previous cycle than it did two cycles ago. So that tells you the potential of this coin. Okay. Usually a lot of these altcoins, when they have a second peak, the peak is slightly lower than the first. That's usually how it goes, or they're just dead. They're dead altcoins. They don't do anything. Or in some cases, you get something like Dash, for example. We'll take a look at Dash, which is another one that we do actually own. You guys can see that the peak um, in 2017 was absolutely huge. It went from basically like 10 bucks all the way up to 1600 but in the previous cycle peak it only went up to about 500 bucks so that's typically what all coins do in in uh, subsequent bull markets but decentraland did not do that we think decentraland could actually go much higher than six bucks uh just our opinion but we'll just take a hypothetical number here and say that uh we'll say that from the bottom of decentraland at shoot i don't know we'll we'll say it goes down to like 10 cents or something like that it can do 100 100 x from 10 cents which i think is definitely realistic it's not much higher than the previous peak so that would put it in decentraland at 10 dollars per coin basically um and i do expect the altcoins to bleed into the having event um i don't think they're done selling off just my opinion but let's say you put a thousand bucks into decentraland and you got a 100x, so you'd be up a hundred thousand bucks. So we already know 20% of a hundred thousand is 20,000. So you'd be basically left with 80,000 plus your initial investment of a thousand. So you get 81,000 bucks. And uh, basically, the idea here is to take the profit from that and move it over into dividend paying stocks. So we will again take. Coney here at 1837 divided by 1837 and times it by a dollar 20 to so get 4,400 shares. You're taking a look at $5,291 a month in passive income. Now let's take the, what other people believe to be the case in that it was a month and a half's worth of trading on Coney and it's only 80 cents a month typically, or technically speaking, if it was a month's trading, it'd be 80 cents. We'll just go with that. Okay. So you get, we'll call it 4410 shares times 80 cents, $3,520 a month of passive income. Guys, think about this for a second. The average, the average annual income in the United States is about $60,000 a year. Okay. On these numbers alone, you already moved your passive income from zero per year to $42,000 a year, assuming that you had nothing in passive income. This is a big deal. You could basically just massively accelerate the process at which you use passive income to retire off of or whatever you want to do it for. You could use it to pay your mortgage. You could use it to pay for your car, to buy a condo overseas. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but the power of this, um, of this compounded effect between crypto and passive income investments is absolutely massive. Now I could get into bigger numbers and say, what if you put in 10,000? What if you put in 50,000? But a lot of people don't have that much money to put in. So we just try to keep it relatively conservative here. And so this is basically how 
I would do it if I was if I was going to move my money from crypto into passive income stocks. This is exactly how I would do it. I would just load the boat into crypto, take profits when I thought that it was approaching the top, and uh, move probably not all of my money, but a large portion of my money over into dividend paying stocks and other positions I wanted to put my money into because I know that the crypto bear market is just right around the corner. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know your thoughts and opinions about this and what y'all plan on doing down below. And we'll see y'all later. Peace.